What's up guys, John Osuma from Motion Shooter Photography coming at you again with another video. Staying entertained. Boy, sometimes you gotta go through great lengths just to stay entertained. You wanna know the behavior of the birds that you're trying to shoot. So right now, I don't have a lot of choices. You know, pretty much the, pe uh, the pelicans are what I see the most, and so those are the shots I'm trying to get. And I can't very well chase them across the water, and I can't chase them across the sand because they fly and I don't. So what I've done is I spent the first 10, 15 minutes just sitting and watching what their behaviors were, and I recognized a flight pattern that they were following. And they were coming in from the ocean, flying over this flight path and landing over in the estuary. So just by knowing that, I could set myself up in more strategic spots. I'll just see if I can get it over there without killing myself and tripping over all this debris. All right, so there's a pelican right there. I'm gonna try to find a spot where I can kind of blend in with the tree, or not the trees, but blend in with the reeds a bit and see what kind of action I can get. I'm in an open area. I don't have a lot of cover. So those are two strikes against me. The lighting's bad, three strikes against me. So I'm gonna see if I can reduce some of these strikes against me and still get the probability of getting some shots that I want pelicans are coming in. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to settle in over here behind these reeds. I'll sit still for a few minutes and see if I can capture the pelicans coming back and forth over me. So wish me luck. Right now what they're doing is they're coming in from the ocean. All right, well, I think I may have used up my cover here and I'm gonna change location. So, oh, one more, one more pelican coming through. Okay, as I was saying before I was interrupted by that pelican, up oh, here comes a whole nother flock. Let's see if we can get lucky. Once they noticed me, they changed their flight path and veered around, so. Like I said, it's, it's really challenging, but also very satisfying to get that straight head on shot. Okay, so I'm trying another strategy and I've kind of seen what their approach is and the flight path they're taking. So I've set myself in a little depression and look at here comes a couple right now. Normally the water would be up this high if the tide was higher. So I'm a little below the level of the sand, so they won't see me till they're really close to me. So I'm hoping that maybe I'll get some closer shots, so. Hey, so I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm hoping it was a little bit entertaining for you. Um, I am jonesing to get out, but at the same time, I want to be responsible at the same time. So hope you guys are staying safe. Stay tuned for the next video. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. And this is John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography.